Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Seek and Destroy, and uh, it is now Halloween day. I'm filming this, and uh, I got a couple other things put out this morning. I don't know if this will actually post on Halloween, so uh, I'll do my best. But this is a reaction video for the upcoming game, The Midnight Suns. Uh, as you know, and we talked about this before, they are releasing prequel short films, animated uh, anime-style short films, each one by a different director, I believe, and uh, and they're all leading up to the game to kind of fill you in on the backstory of this universe, because obviously this is going to be a little different than the comic book universe, and events played out differently in this universe. So we're going to get an origin here. It looks like the first episode is called the Salem Sisters, and uh, so I, you know, you know, I'm excited for this game. I'm, I'm very pumped. Now we got Venom and Morbius and Deadpool and Storm coming in as DLC, and we still haven't heard who the thirteenth character is that's going to be playable. So I'm hoping it's Moon Knight, <laughs> as you can see back there. I have Mr. Knight, um, but I would love to see uh, Moon Knight thrown into this game and Punisher down the road and other characters. So with DLC and stuff, so uh, even if we don't get our characters we want now, maybe there's a chance to get them later. So I'm pumped for this game. It's coming out in about a month from now, a little over a month, and uh, I, I just can't wait. I just really can't wait. So let's check this out together, and I'll put a link to the original down below so you can check it out for yourself without me talking over it if you'd like. So here we go. All right, Baraxis, let's do this. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, I like that. Dude, these characters look so good in anime style, too. There was a Blade and a Wolverine in an X Men anime before, um, and I like those. They're really, really good. Oh, Ghost Rider. Dude, this intro is so cool. Nice. Nico, okay. Cool. And Magic, oh my god. Love Magic. Iron Man. We I mentioned this in every video, but people were like upset that this game has Marvel like like uh, Avenger characters in it, and I'm like, yeah, but when you have a big event, everyone has to team up, right? Like everybody. Uh, so I'm gonna try to turn it down a little bit. Um, but yeah, everybody has to team up. So you gotta you gotta get Avengers, X Men. Like that's when that's when you know things are. Not good. It was not truly lost. <laughs> that the prophecy of the Midnight Sun okay. is still a threat. I cannot do what you ask. But there is a contingency. To know it, you must know how it came to pass. Oh, awesome. Okay. Salem, Massachusetts. Late 1600s. Well, that's a cool church. <laughs> it all started with that fanatic Hiram Shaw. Hiram Shaw, no way. That's cool. That's like a descendant of uh, of one of the X-Men characters. Um, that's cool. I believe, I believe he's connected to, uh, to the Shaw from the X-Men comics. Love led her to do what all the blood forswear. Ah, a child yeah. of human origin. So that child took hold in Salem is the hunter, First I believe. It struck her husband. Oh dang! So disease came through. Oh no way! Wow, that's rough. Desperation led my sister to approach Shaw and beg him to save her child. Oh wow! When so she, she went to their enemy. Changed everything to save Shaw her child. Possessed a dark and ancient book said to be written by the elder god Cthulhu. The dark hope. Cthulhu. We knew it well. With the blood. And Cthulhu was mentioned recently in the Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness movie too. Um, it could not remain. I would love Cthulhu to be like the the main villain for the. Uh, Supernatural side of the Marvel Universe. Everything we had to force him back. There's also been connections with Cthulhu and Carnage in recent years, too, as we've talked about on the Venom vlog. And as I see oh, wow. Oh, forever, cool. Chose to betray everything for which we stood. Okay, so she, she trapped Shaw, but... She knew Lilith the took the dark, hold. the dark hold. Oh, and she's casting a spell 
to save the child. Perform a ritual drawn from its wicked pages. Oh man. Oh whoa. What's that? Oh, so she's like giving the life. Like of a healthy animal to the kid or something? No, oh. Oh. No. Oh. And she undid the spell. Oh, wow. What have you done? You're going to curse that child. Like, it'll live, but as what? Oh, man. Witch fight. <laughs> Witch slapper. <laughs> Whoa. Cool. Oh, cool. She's like summoning things from the dark hold. Okay, this is cool. Oh. Why? Man, sister versus sister, man. Always comes down to family. Ah. I will do anything to protect my child. Oh, wow. So Kathan is going to let the kid live, but he wants Lilith in, in exchange. Must be done. Oh, oh. But in a moment of weakness, I damn the entire world. Leave! I will care for the child, but you can never. Return. Oh, I like the line in the ground. That was... Man. So this is cool. Like, I, I, I'm Soon after, blanking on the... the... child recovered. Oh, and this is the Abbey. This I is where we're going to... We're going to play in the modern Lilith time. Did not. So I think they're keeping it vague if the child's a boy or a girl. Because in the game, you choose. You can choose who the hunter... If the hunter's a boy or a girl. But Lilith, I... I don't know if I remember her being human. I'm sure that's her backstory, but maybe it's not. Or maybe, you know, I don't remember her being human first. I, th I always thought she was a demon, but that's a, that's a tragic backstory. We're going to reread Midnight Suns, the Rise of the Midnight Suns. We're going to reread that. Um, it's been years since I've gone through my Ghost Rider collection. So. Oh, Johnny Blaze. twist and tempt. If the prophecy so is Jonathan Blaze is holding the Darkhold right now. Count on your support to retrieve it. Oh wow, Sarah, when have I ever let you down? Oh, and I, I thought that was the Hunter in uh, in the shadows. It was Doctor Strange. That's cool. That's cool. With the best, the toughest, cool, the fastest. Awesome. Get it, Robbie. Oh, that though was so cool. Oh, Blade. Oh, oh those shades are... Those are some cool shades. Get it, Nico. That instant transformation to Ghost Rider was freaking awesome. So there, yeah, you see everyone there. All the characters. Um, oh, little game trailer. Strategize your moves. Fight like superheroes and live among legends. So cool. I think we've seen this trailer before. I haven't done a reaction to it, but this was from their recent live stream, I think. That's cool. Nice. Um, I already have mine pre ordered. Comes out December 2nd. Uh, I am just waiting, just waiting now for it to come out. Um, and you get the, the Doctor Strange skin. If you signed up for the newsletter a while back, you get a Blade Night Stalker skin. So, uh, nice, nice. All right. Well, that was freaking cool. I dug that, um, to give a little backstory on the Abbey and then also, um, Lilith herself. Like, like I said, we're going to reread the, uh, the comic book Rise of the Midnight Suns. We'll go through that graphic novel. I have them in single issue, but I have the graphic novel also. So we'll go through that before the game comes out and do like a, a like a video discussion on it. 
And we'll probably also check out Inferno, which was an X-Men event in the 90s, or 80s, I'm sorry, it was in the 80s. And that one dealt with um, demons coming to Earth and the X-Men having to team up with a bunch of heroes to fight it. Uh, but you saw at the end of that, they only showed you the Midnight Suns members. Because again, I say it in every video, but people are harping on this game because they were saying, well, Wolverine's not a Midnight Sun and Captain America and Iron Man shouldn't be there and Captain Marvel shouldn't be there. And it's like, Yes, the, there is the Midnight Suns. It's just the supernatural characters. That's their team. But the you know what happens with Lilith and corrupting other uh, characters and heroes and villains that expands past their you know their reach. So they're like, okay, we need anyone else out there who's not been taken by Lilith. We need you to side with us too. So it's kind of like a Marvel Comics event book. It's Midnight Sun. Sure, that's the core team, but it's also Midnight Suns teaming up with you know, Spider-Man, X-Men, you know, and the heroes. And also you can choose while you're playing this game who you want to play as. So if you want Iron Man and, and Captain America to be in it very minimal or Captain Marvel, if you don't want them in the game at all, you actually don't have to play as them. You can choose um, which characters on your team. You get three members of your team. And some of the matches that are story-driven, they require you have the hunter. And again, you can make the hunter male or female and you kind of design the character. Um, but... The, you know, but there are side missions that you can do where you don't have to have the hunter and you can throw in Blade, Ghost Rider, you know, um, and Doctor Strange all in one team and make your own Midnight Suns if you'd like. Um, but uh, but mentioning Johnny Blaze and that he's the one who still has he's in possession of the Darkhold and they got to go retrieve it because they're going to need it for this battle. Um, I think that's what she was saying. I'm pretty sure that's what she was saying. Johnny Blaze had uh, that's cool because that means the mantle of Ghost Rider in some way is either past to Robbie Reyes, or he's just like in the comics, an all new Ghost Rider, and maybe Johnny Blaze still has the spirit of vengeance in him as well. Uh, either way, I'm I'm pumped. I cannot wait to play this game. And the fact that it's like a 40 hour RPG, uh, you can. They said you can blaze through the story, pun intended. Uh, if you'd like, you can just go right through the storyline, and you could probably finish the game in like 20 to 25 hours, uh, or maybe even less, depending on how quickly you go through it. That's without doing ton of the ton of the side stuff and all the other uh, expanded missions and everything. But I'm going to take my time going through this game, and I'm going to do a, a lot of stuff. And I will definitely have those videos. Um, I'll live stream them on Twitch, but I'll edit them and I'll post them on my gaming channel, the edited versions. So if you ever want to check those out, you know I'll have that up on that channel in December for sure. So uh, yeah, looks like this Christmas we're going to hell. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let me know your thoughts of this short down below. And again, I'll put a link to a demo if you want to watch it yourself. Um, and tell me if you're excited for this game or not. Uh, as a person who's a big fan of this pocket of the Marvel Universe, I'm so glad we're getting more and more of it uh, as we get closer to the movies, reflecting that and Werewolf by Night and everything. It's like, it's so cool they're touching on this now. And I can't wait to see what they do with these other characters. More Elsa Bloodstone, you know, Ghost Rider. Like, I want to see these guys come together and, uh, and form a team. And I would like to see Elsa Bloodstone maybe show up in this game at some point, either as a playable character in the DLC or who knows, maybe she's the 13th character. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but Werewolf by Night, I'd love to see all of them get added in DLCs at some point. Moon Knight, like, you know, just do that. Do like a, a Disney Plus you know, uh, kind of DLC where it's four characters. So you have Man Thing, Elsa Bloodstone, uh, Moon Knight, and uh, and uh, and Werewolf by Night. If you get those four in a DLC pack later on, I'd be totally down for that too. So uh, again, let me know your thoughts down below. We'll keep talking down there. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Happy Halloween. Peace.